Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to make a plain nail design using only one gel polish. It's the Ginger from Macart. I'm just going to show you guys it in a bit more detail just because it's actually one of my newer gel polish um, in my collection and I thought let me just kind of leave a few extra seconds in. Let me just show you guys the colour before we use it. So it's this very, very pale nude kind of colour. So I'm going to apply that on all of those nails today. It's not very common for me to be just using one gel polish. And I feel like recently I've been doing that a little bit more often. Especially when I'm stamping. I feel like I some somehow just end up kind of picking one base colour. And then going a bit more mad on the stamping polish colours. So I go a bit more colourful on the stamping polish. And then I end up being very kind of boring on the base colors <laughs> so we'll apply that on all those layers i'm um, sorry nails and then off camera i will apply a second layer and then we can start working on our nail design so today's nail design is a plate nail i feel like i've been using the stamping plate for a long time and today's nail design will be achieved with just a stamping plate and it's going to be the maniology m267 love it i'm going to be using this top it won't be those fin lines, it'll be the, the other two that I was showing. I think I, I got a little bit uh, muddled up there. But I'll be using a Moe a Mo London stamping polish. I'll be using also a Born Pretty stamping polish, a Maniology stamping plate. We've got all the companies today when it comes to stamping. And I just thought this sparkly purple was gorgeous. So pretty, I love it. So we're going to use that in just a second. But firstly, I'm going to start applying our... It's like a pinky purple colour. It's really pretty, I really like it. I had to, um, when I was filming it, I forgot which one I had I used. So I had to go for a few of my polishes to kind of figure out which one it was. But luckily, very quickly, I, found, I think it took me like three polishes before I actually figured out which one it is. Especially as when you stamp it, depending on the background colour, it does slightly alter the colour. So it's not going to be identical to what it is in the bottom. But anyways, I'm going to start applying the polish onto the image I want. I'm going to scrape it with my scraper, pick it up with my little jelly, and then I'm going to stamp it. And of course, these stiletto nails are super long, so I have to double stamp. Luckily, with this nail design, it's super easy to double stamp. You will see in now. <laughs> there we are. You can't even see that it's been um, double stamped. It's super easy. I'm still a massive beginner on stamping and I was able to do it. So I'm sure you guys will be able to as well. So I've already done another one of those nails. It's already chin in the background. And now we're going to have another two nails that are going to be the same. But for the next two nails, we're only going to do half of the nail with this pattern. So instead of kind of picking where the middle is I'm just going to stamp from the very bottom of that image to the very top and that way I know that I'm going to have both of the nails the same length basically so I will show you guys in a second with me kind of placing them next to each other for you guys to see that they are basically the same height <laughs> I guess so there's me applying it once more it's a very messy process as you can tell make sure you always have a little bit of like a cover of some sort you don't want to be ruining your uh, mats or anything like that you see my gloves get very messy too so make sure you wear gloves too you don't want it all over your hands there we are so those are next to each other and they're pretty much the same length which is a great little trick you don't want to be messing about figuring out where the middle is just stamp the whole image and luckily since this stiletto nail is so long um we still have a lot of surface at the top to still kind of do our nail design that we're going to do later so now that's done i'm going to pick the next image next to the one we just used and i'm going to use that purple so the purple isn't very noticeable and you can actually get away with not placing it exactly where you wanted it by accident and you can't tell as much which is great but this is what it's looking like and it's going to really look cool when we start applying our matte top coat later and then once it's cured it really really looks really cool just because it has these little sparkles almost like a little bit of a metallic vibe to it and i just think that they kind of made it look really nice <laughs> um so i'm just going to apply on all of the nails that we've already stamped the pink color down and um i'm like i said i'm still a beginner pretty much i do oh, well maybe like a mid-level at this point i've been stamping for quite a little while now but um i just wanted to say that i still sometimes i want to say place way too much polish onto my plate so i feel like you need to kind of find a little bit of a balance sometimes i don't so i'm sure um if any expert stampers are watching are gonna tell me in the comments i was probably placing way too much polish onto my plates uh, but now it's time for the top coat. So I'm using my um, Lisa, um matte top coat. I'm just going to top coat all of those and then pop them into the lamp for a 60 second cure. I really like to 
um, cure mine for 60 seconds, no matter what the rules say. <laughs> I love a 60 second cure on the top coat. And then once they're out, we will have two more things to do. We've got a bunch of little charms and crystals to get stuck on, which are really fun. I really feel like this design was really kind of helped by the crystals and the charms. I feel like they really pulled through and make the set look really cool. And then we also are going to do some sweater locks using some acrylic and all of that jazz. So I'm just going to finish up, get the flaps out of my nails, <laughs> and then um, we can get cracking with our nail design. So we're going to start off with the sweater nail. I'm going to use, here are the, here are the nails, Matt. Um, and I'm going to use a nail art brush to outline my little sweater design that I'm going for. And I also got my Glitter Bells Clear Acrylic in the background already. So what I'm going to start off with doing is just doing a line between where the plate design is and where that just pure nude is i'm just going to do that then i'm going to do two nail or uh, two lines sorry going from i don't know there <laughs> i don't know how to explain it it's not from the center a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left you want two lines and then in the center is where we're going to do a little bit of like a sweater pattern and then on the side we're going to do some kind of line so you'll be probably very pleased to know that I actually managed to do it on camera these lines I just can't never do it on camera they're still not perfect as you can tell but I was so chuffed that I managed to do it somewhat on camera it's still not like I said not like I wanted it but it's just gonna have to do <laughs> at this point so here I'm going to do these usually I like to do very like sharp lines but here I kind of wanted to do a bit more of like a snaky s kind of vibe where the lines are not sharp they're just very kind of gliding down so we're going to repeat this pattern and then on the sides, you could do dots, you could even do hearts, or you can even do hearts in the center, that would look really cute. But instead on the sides, I usually like to just do these lines. They're just super easy um, and quick to do, really. So we're going to do those. And then once you're happy, you want to sprinkle on some clear acrylic. And I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to do the other nail off camera for you, just so you're not bored. There will be too much repetition. And then we can essentially start on our nail design with our crystals. I'm so happy with the crystal placement today. I just love how it looks. I brought out some clear crystals, some dark pinky crystals, some lighter crystals. We also have some um, white bows and everything. There's just quite a lot going on. But um, I feel like without it, this nail design would just not be it. I just really love how the crystals kind of brought it all together so you see that in just a second i'm just sprinkling on my clear acrylic you want to sprinkle it on until the gel polish is no longer becoming kind of a wet look um that's when you know you've had enough and then you can pop it into the lamp i also like to double cure those two just because i feel like the gel polish has a bit of products in there and i just want to make sure it's cured enough um and then you want to also use a brush to get rid of any excess here i was so prepared for the video i literally picked out all the crystals i need how i want it literally i'm ready to go so there's no faffing about me trying to pick out the right sizes we're ready to go so i'm going to start off with the easiest nail which are those half played half sweater vibe and in the center i'm going to place the white bows so both of those nails so we've got two white bows there the white bows i got from shein i think quite a lot of my charms I'm getting from Shein these days it's just so much cheaper actually on there which is quite fun and nice there's not as many selection as there will be on Ali of course Ali just has you know just a wider range of sellers but still quite a lot of the stuff you want to get on Ali make sure you just firstly check out Shein just to make sure they don't have it there because you could definitely save yourself a lot of money especially now with Ali you have to pay extra taxes and all of that jazz after you go to checkout and it just adds extra costs so it'll be so nice for everyone to just save their coins and shop on Shein if possible because it is much cheaper of course first check if it is cheaper but I'm pretty sure it is <laughs> for me anyways anything I find I'm like oh I could have got that on Shein <laughs> so those two nails are done they're getting cured and now it's time for our third nail so here in the center I've got this beautiful little charm and it's gorgeous i just love it and i'm so happy i got to use this because i've had this for a while in my collection and i've always just been thinking to myself i don't know how i'm gonna get this in a set some of these big charm things i struggle with and i'm just so happy i got to use it because it's so cute i think it's got like a little heart in the center and it's just i don't know i just think it's so cute so i've placed it in the center and we're going to do like a necklace vibe with this so 
we're going to do so that will be like our pendant and then we're going to add the necklace kind of vibe so with this bit is where i'm going to start mixing up some crystals so we're going to use some of the darker purpley color i guess i was going to say darker pink but it's kind of like a purpley vibe and we also have some kind of dusty rosy pink there too of a crystal and then we also have some clear so we don't have any abs today which is unusual but it's probably because the charm is just like a pure clear silver so i wanted to kind of keep that vibe going i guess and um yeah so we're going to do the big purpley crystals down first then i'm going to place a clear crystal and of course, the further away we're getting from the center, the smaller crystals you want to use. After the silver, we're going to place a pink and then a silver and then a pink again. So if I unfortunately don't have any other sizes other than that purple sh size that you can see there. So in that purple color, I don't have any other shapes. So it, I do try and use them as much as I can because they are. it is quite difficult to just have the one size. But I tr do try and make it work when I can. Um, but they're gorgeous. I also got them on Shein, so they came in a massive pack, and I have a bunch of colours, and unfortunately they are all one size, which, you know, works here, but not always, so it can be a bit tricky, you won't be able to use them up as quickly as if you had a bunch of random sizes, if you know what I mean, but, um, I'm trying to make it work, because <laughs> the colours were beautiful, and I do not have any other crystals that are that beautiful purpley color so now we're on to our last nail basically to apply our crystals so we're going to do top left hand side of this nail we're going to place some crystals and then we're going to do a bottom bottom of the nail going upwards on the right hand side we're also going to chuck some crystals there so i'm starting off with a silver then two of those gorgeous purpley pinky colors and then i'm going to place a smaller pinky color the lighter pink and then a silvery i like to call them silver but they're just clear <laughs> it's just a clear crystal and then at the bottom we're going to start with a big clear then a purpley then a pink then a white then no then a oh you know what don't worry about it <laughs> i'm just gonna let you guys watch it there's no point in me <laughs> describing what i'm doing if you can literally see it so i'll let you guys just relax and watch this bit and i'll come back to you guys once it's done Alright, so I'm just going to finish it up. I did add some caviar beads off camera just to jazz it all up, do the final little touches, and here are the final results. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I would love to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!